Hey guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So I'm going to do a kind of chit chat with me, get ready, just on the eyes, nothing else. I am wearing foundation at the moment that I am currently trying out. I did not put any concealer on today, just foundation. But I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes and I'm going to sweep my bangies out of the way. I am having a hard time adjusting to the fact that I have now gotten bangs. If you haven't watched my last video before this one went up, then you would not know that yet. But I did a drastic cut and color on my hair and I love it. I'm just adjusting to the fact that things on my face are now different. So we're just going to play around today. I've got a bunch of different products out in front of me that I want to use and we'll see what we end up with. So the first thing I'm going to take is the ColourPop. This is the super, 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 super shock shadow in color Summer 11. It's a super reflective, kind of has some glitter in it. Like really pretty pearly pink color. I really like this. You'll notice with ColourPop eyeshadows, I almost always go in with my finger. And then if I need more blending after, I will use a brush. But it's generally always the finger first. Just because it works really, really well that way. These just adhere well better. These just adhere really well when you use your finger. And so I'm always using mine. Now I'm gonna go ahead with this color, which is called Cheeky. This is kind of a pastel pinky color. And I'm gonna take a flat brush. This is the MAC 239. And I'm going to attempt this with this brush. I've never used this brush for this before, but I'm gonna try it. And I'm gonna apply that into my crease. I do want this to be kind of sort of a funner, brighter, more summery look. So I know you guys can't answer me back, but when I do these chit chat videos, I like to feel like I'm just chit chatting with you guys. So I don't know how you guys have been. My weather here in Vancouver has been amazing. I hope the weather wherever you are has been amazing. I know the East Coast is still experiencing a lot of cold front, which I'm sorry for. I hate when it's cold like that. I totally like feel for you because I'm not a cold person. Mm -mm. That's why I live in Vancouver. I'm gonna use a lot of colors from the Naked, or the, the Naked. I'm gonna use a lot of colors from the Lorac Gold palette today. I have been playing more and more with this specific palette. I really, really like it. I'm also gonna use some Makeup Geek eyeshadows that I have in like a little sparkly um, Z palette that Jessica got me. Thanks, Jessie. Well, she picked it up for me, I paid her for it, but I would have never known these even existed because I don't go into retail stores, so I would have never even seen this gorgeousness. And I put all of my Makeup Geek foil shadows in here and also some of my favorite other Makeup Geek shadows. I'm also going to pull probably from the Marc Jacobs palette. So I've got all of those sitting out in front of me, trying to inspire myself to do a look for you guys. Uh, let's go in with this Unpredictable from the Lorac Gold palette. It's kind of a peachy pink. It's really pretty, actually. I'm going to pat that kind of all over the lid. So the weather here in Vancouver has been really, really nice. I'm really kind of bored at this point because I need football season to start up again. When football season ends, all of a sudden, like, all of my TV watching kind of just dies. One of the only things I watch on TV is football. So when football season has gone, it's like, what do I do now? And that's a little frustrating for me. So I need football season to start up again. I'm going to just take a MAC. What is this one? My numbers have all worn off on these because I've had them for so long. It's called the Japan brush, and I know it has a number, 222. My MAC 222, and I'm going to use a little bit of Makeup Geeks. I think this is creme brulee. Yeah. I'm going to use a little bit, uh oh, I got that on my finger, a little bit of Makeup Geeks creme brulee, and I'm going to add that to that crease peachy color that I created earlier with ColourPop. Just a little bit. I don't want to cover up all of the peachy color. I just want to add some more dimension. I'm like trying to figure out what I want to do next. I think I'm going to go in with um, Unwind and un Undeniable, these two kind of deeper matte browns from the new Lorac Gold palette. And I'm just going to kind of apply those to the outer V. Kind of creating a smoky effect now. I wasn't sure how intense I was going to get. Now again, I don't want to cover up all that peach, so I'm trying to keep it just below the peach. So yeah, I'm excited for football season to start again. I've kind of been just watching the posts. They've started training a bit, and I'm really excited about that. I love when they go to training, because I'm like, that means football season's coming. I love football, you guys know. I don't watch a lot of hockey, although I'm Canadian, so you think I would. A lot of people are always on me about that, like, why don't you watch hockey? I just, I don't know, I don't enjoy it, I guess. Um, I'm gonna take Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in Mesmerized. 
Now, these foiled shadows are a lot like ColourPop's cream shadows. They don't always want to work with a brush, but I'm going to attempt it today. I'm going to apply that right just on the outside section. And then blend. Actually, you know what? Everything is kind of working nicely today. Normally, I have a really hard time using these shadows with any kind of brush, but today, it seems like they just want to work with me. Look, I made a boo-boo. You know, this is why people, I, I like doing get ready with me's in this way, like chit chat videos, because people need to understand, I'm a makeup artist. You guys know that's what I do for a living, and I make mistakes all the time on my own face. All the time. I mess things up, I don't curve the brush the right way, and it'll get everywhere. It's just a matter of going in and cleaning them up. That's the trick. I kind of like the way those eyes actually look. I want to show you guys more like get ready with me style videos in this style because it really is that easy. And sometimes you guys watch my videos and you say to me, oh my god, that look is so gorgeous. How did you achieve it? And generally it's one or two eyeshadows thrown together because I don't always have a lot of time to like plan a look. So I will just throw together a look like I just did this one and it'll work. And you guys really seem to like them. Okay. So, challenge, talk, talk, challenge Tanya Talks Makeup. I got a challenge to do thicker brows. So I'm going to do thicker brows in this video for you guys. I'm using my NYX brow kit. This is the only brow kit I use, ever. This is the only one. This is, uh, I'm an E, I'm in number five brunette. And I don't use another brow kit. Now I'm going to move my mirror closer for this because it's all the way over there normally when I'm doing makeup. But today I'm going to bring it in. So I don't know how these thicker brows are going to look with my new hair. I'm going to use a lot of that kind of redder shade, which is the lighter of the two browns in here, because I think that will just match better with what I currently have on my head. So, let's see how this turns out. Now, when she told me thicker brows, I don't know if she meant like the inside thicker or the outside thicker or what she wanted thicker. So I'm just going to kind of really thicken up both kind of ends. I don't know. This is going to be a harder one for me because I generally like my brows very, very thin. And it's, it's amazing to me how you can change eyebrows with just a little bit of powder because I didn't add more hair. I just literally added more color and it just turned into this. I don't hate them. I definitely don't hate them. I just think that they definitely, it's not what I'm used to. I think it's like that for everybody when you try something new for the first time. You always kind of have like a, an immediate, oh my god, what did I do reaction. Because you, you're just not used to it. So there's my take on bigger eyebrows. Um, I do find them beautiful. And I do tend to wear my eyebrows more natural than most people. Like I don't pluck like crazy. So, you know, I think that's actually pretty good. I'm going to fix my bangs because I keep... I keep saying I want to train them, but then I keep pushing them back to the outside because that's just my habit. I don't, I'm not used to having things laying down on my face. And with my new bangs, you're barely going to see those eyebrows anyway. Here's where we're going to have some fun. You guys ready? I decided to go blue. I've been really loving these pops of color under the waterline or in the waterline lately. I did another look a little while ago with the same kind of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again today. I don't know why this is my kick right now, but it just is. I'm using the Essence, um, this is from a collection of theirs called Vintage District, and this one is Shopping Portobello Road. I'm using just a really tiny, tiny eyeliner brush. Those are the best for this thing. And I'm going to swirl that all in here, getting lots of color on it, and then I'm just going to line my waterline. The size of this brush makes it so easy, you guys have no idea. And because I'm kind of a blue junkie, I'm going to smoke that out a bit onto just underneath my, my lower lash line. And I'm going to use Color Pops Ibiza, which is my favorite blue color of all time. Look at that. It's like a mermaid in a jar. I'm just going to take a pencil brush. This is Sigma's E30. And I'm going to push it back and forth. I don't know how this brush is going to work with this color, but we're going to try it. Ooh. You know, I don't hate it. What do you guys think? It's definitely got some blue smoke to it now, doesn't it? 
There's something about that color combination for me. Look at that blue. It just pops and I really, um, and I really, really like that. So everything else I'm going to do today is going to be super, super simple. I'm going to pop on some, I'm going to pop on a really peachy cream colored blush. This is um, NYX Cream Blush in Boho Chic. I just want it to be, I don't want it to be distracting. I mean, my hair is incredibly distracting at the moment. So, and with that eye look, I'm just going to just take something that's a little bit softer. And I'm using cream because it's easy to blend and it will give my skin kind of a dewy finish and I won't need to apply a highlight. Because I don't want to apply a highlight with this look because that blue is already really bright. So do you guys see that just kind of little bit of flush? My biggest fear whenever I do my hair, especially like a drastic change, is that I'm going to have to figure out how to redo all of my makeup. And with this one, I don't seem to be having to. So that's kind of cool. Um, for lips, I'm actually going to do Melted Marshmallow, which is a Too Faced Melted Lipstick. I recently got a lesson in how to put these on in a way that actually works. And I think it was from Rachel Loves. I'm pretty sure. But what she said was, draw an X. So... Mm, this actually might be too pink. I don't remember this one being that pink. That X trick just gives you a really good idea of where you should go and where you shouldn't go. Which keeps you from getting kind of that clown lip look. I'm loving this look, you guys. I wasn't entirely sure how it was going to end up, but this is the final result. Now this is of course the hair up, and this is of course the hair down, if you want to see both. I really like it with both. I actually almost prefer it up. When I wear it down, it looks like it's a bit, um, almost rocker chic, uh, and it's a little bit edgy for me. When it's up, it just feels a little bit more soft. Do you see the difference just putting your hair up can make, really, literally? When I have my hair up like this, it's just really soft looking and easy looking. When it's down more, you can see it adds that little bit of edge. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick get ready with me chit chat video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. You like a search. You take it over the beat of my body. You don't let up, don't let up. You take it over the beat of my body. You lift me up, lift me up. If you take my pulse right now, it would feel just like a search hammer.